This video is brought to you by Antium 365, where the world designs electronics, and Octopart, the fastest search engine for electronic parts. Get the free copy of Artium software using the link provided in this video description. Plus, when you sign up for an Artium Designer free trial, you will get Artium 365 and 25% off discount. Hi, welcome again to another video. Today, I'm going to show you on how to design a simple micro SD card module. So here's the final PCB in 3D view. And here's the final schematic. First, you need to have a project PCB file. In order to have a PCB project file, just click on File, New, then Project. Then you need to put here the project name you want. For this case, let's copy this one and paste it on the project name. And this is the directory in where you want to save your project. Just click on Create. Next, we need to create a schematic document. Just click on File, New, then Schematic. Next, we need to adjust the size of the sheet. So just click on Properties and change the units to mm and click on Custom. Then we can change here the height and width of the schematic sheet. Next, we need to create also the libraries. Just click on File, New, Library, then Schematic Library. Next is for PCB Library. Click again on File, New, Library, and PCB Library. Now, after we have the libraries, go back again to the schematic document. And this is the bomb list that we need in order to complete the schematic. So, we're gonna use the Altium Library Loader and we're just gonna put there the manufacturer part number and it will automatically load on your schematic. So, just copy this one and open the library loader. Then, just paste here the manufacturer part number click on search wait for it to load then click add the design after we finish searching all the libraries from the bomb list next thing we're gonna do is to add this to the schematic doc just click on components on the panel then we're just gonna drag the components into the schematic doc after placing all the components in the schematic dock, next thing we're gonna do is to edit the designator. To do it automatically, just click on Tools, Annotations, Annotate Schematics. Then just click on Update Changes List, click OK. Now as you can see, the proposed designator, it automatically renamed. So just click on Accept Changes, then click on Validate, then Execute Changes. Now you can see, the designators of each component are automatically assigned. Next, we're going to add connection on each component by placing a wire. Just click on Place, then Wire. After we connect the components using a wire, Next thing we're gonna do is to put a power port for the ground and the supply. Just click on place, power port. Then snap it to where it should be connected. Now that's for the ground. Next for the supply, just click tab on your keyboard to access the properties. And we're gonna change this to 3 volts. Then change the style to bar. Click space to rotate the power port. Then snap it again to the connection. Next is for the pins that has no connection. Click again on place. Then directives. Click on generic no ERC. And put this to the pins that has no connection. So for this case, the P1 and the PA. Now we're done with the schematic. 
Next, we need to import all the components in the PCB. But first, you should have a PCB dock. In order to have a PCB dock, just click on File, New, then PCB. After that, save the PCB dock in the same folder. So just click File, then Save. After you save the PCB, go back again to Schematic Dock and perform Engineering Change Order. Just click on Design, Update PCB Documents, Micro SD Card Module. Now, the engineer change order dialog box will appear. So here are the components that will import in your PCB dock. Just click execute changes. After that, close the engineering change order dialog box. Then you can see here, here are the components. After that, is the component placement. So just drag the components into the PCB. After the component placement, now we can start with the routings. Now the remaining unrouted nets are the ground and supply. So we're just gonna pour the top layer by ground and the bottom layer by supply. In order to pour that with polygon, we need to create to recreate the board shape. So just place a line. Then just follow the board shape. After that, select the created line. Then click on tools. Convert. Then create polygon from selected primitives. So we need to adjust the properties of the polygon. Change this to ground as well as the name. And click on solid. Now copy the created polygon to the bottom layer. So make sure that the active layer is the bottom layer. And to paste it, just click on edit, paste special. Then check paste on current layer. Click the paste. Now we need to edit also the properties of this polygon. So change this to supply. As well as the name. And hit enter. To see the changes in the polygon, click on tools, polygon course, and report all. As you can see on top layer, it pours over all the objects that has the ground net. And as we look at the bottom layer, same goes with the supply. Now we can delete this one. And to see the finished PCB, just press 3 on your keyboard. So here's the final placement and the layout in designing a micro SD card module. So now we're finished. I hope you learned something from this video. Thank you for watching.